who has been seen causing chaos throughout the Seattle metro area in recent weeks. Delson Rowe, a member of the Akomish tribe, is being described as armed and extremely dangerous, and residents are being warned to notify authorities immediately if they encounter him, and to stay alert and safe. Oh goody, when am I going to get my Lois Lane moment, my Iris West? When am I going to get someone in the media to tell my side of things? And state of alarm. Van full of controversy. The shocking news of US General Mortimer's assassination dominated the mainstream media and for good reason. But the death threatens to overshadow the potential bombshell uncovered in the aftermath of the incident. In addition to the detonation of the landscaping van that cost the general his life, four other vans were destroyed yesterday in the city of Seattle, allegedly by a rogue bioterrorist named Delson Rowe. Documents were found amidst the rubble of the vans that indic- Yeah, what- Oh man, before I did all this, why couldn't I hand over all the evidence to someone, get it out there about all the horrors that are being committed against our conduits? But anyway, documents were found amidst the rubble of vans that indicate the military will be accelerating their plan to dissolve the controversial dupe and overhaul bioterrorist detainment process. While the dupe has been the target of heated debate since its inception, the recent epidemic of bioterrorist violence ravaging Seattle has resulted in a groundswell of public support for the department. Further, a recent poll determined that many Seattle residents consider the military personally responsible for the damage resulting from the failed prisoner transport. The fate of the dupe's notoriously secretive bioterrorist penitentiary, Curtin K, is still unclear, to say nothing of the several hundred inmates scheduled to be transferred to military custody. How will this public outcry affect America's attitude toward bioterrorist incarceration? And how will conduits react to life in the crosshairs of the military-industrial complex? If Stacy Pine's statement is any indication, the transition will be anything but smooth. We are being thrown from the frying pan and into an inextinguishable fire, warned the founder of the Conduit Rights League. Curtin K was bad enough, but now the government wants to amplify the mistake exponentially. Detainment centers in every state every city, every neighborhood. They want us to live in the shadow of oppression. This is unchecked authority at its worst. Awful for America and horrifying for conduit Americans. As of press time, neither the military nor the dupe would comment on this developing story. God damn it, Delson, just give all of the information you've been uncovering to the media. Just get it all out there. Jeez. Anyway. That's all we got from the end of part five. On to part six. Oh boy, look at all these doves. I, I just really like that effect because it's like, they're not really there. Usually you'd think that would just be a bit lazy having the uh, aura or whatever just float through me. objects and stuff like that. But I think it it's really mystical here. It's nice. Anyway, on to Paper Trail Part 6. Hello, Celia. Oh, ooh, guy, don't get in the way. Almost run you down. Oop, she's going back and forth on herself as per usual. Just move it, buddy. Oh, whilst I'm here. Oh, I can heal people up. Nice. And I think I may have lost the paper trail ever so slightly. Ah, you're just here. Yeah, so I can't subdue enemies nice and peaceful-like, or um, do special killing takedowns with my concrete ability. Are you going to end up running all the way back to where we first started again? Yeah, can't subdue guys peacefully or exceptionally violently where I kill them. But I can heal people back up with this power, so at least there's that. Okay, what are you leading me to? Are you going to give me another dove that will start me on the path of a whole mystery, or are you leading me to 
a murder scene. Well, whatever you're doing, you're looking spectacular as you do it. Just love Celia's paper powers. I really want to get them for myself. Come on, just let me shake your hand, please. I want those powers. And you know, I'd be fine if I couldn't upgrade them at all, seeing as I've collected all the uh, blast shards around the city. I'd be fine if I couldn't upgrade it at all. I just want the movement. It's awesome. Oh, right. getting impatient and running around in a circle. Okay, how far do we need to go before everything is revealed to us? Oh, origami dove. Okay. Just here then. That power and she uses it for origami? Well, why the hell not? Stop being so judgmental. You've got all your power and you just go around tagging up the city. All right, let's take a nice little look at this dove. Okay, so we picked up the trail, and the only thing we have to go on is another origami dove. Oh god, is that amazing in the background, with some numbers in it. Alright, no, that's no, probably simple enough. I fail to see the humour. Look harder. Smack. Okay, whatever the hell's going on there. Augustine fighting against Fetch, maybe? Maybe. Okay, no one left to tell. My vengeance has run aground. What's a girl to do? We've had some fun, haven't we, Delson? And you're so close to understanding everything. There are two truths to be had inside this maze. And... Mr. Dead? And our dead ends are just as important as the path that sees us through. Together, the answers will show you where to find me. Don't keep a girl waiting. Alright, well that's a pretty big clue. Both paths. The one that takes us there and the one that doesn't, so... Guess I'll be opening this up in paint working my way through it and seeing what numbers we pass through as well as what numbers we don't. And we'll probably get two 11 digit numbers for the dupe files. Alright so it's super speed time, let me do this as quickly as I possibly can. Just race through the entire maze as quickly as I could with a real life maze, just tearing my way through it, thanks to my super speed powers. Okay, so let me just count these up, make sure it actually is 11 digits each. 11 and... 11, okay, so I think I've got it. 982799, or maybe a 4, I wasn't sure about that one. I, th I think it was supposed to be a 9. 35328, that's the number that... Uh, my black lines actually went through as I traveled through the maze and 74631428457 are all the numbers that I didn't go through as I went through the whole maze. So let's try the both of them, hopefully I'm correct, otherwise I guess I'll just do this whole thing again. First number is correct. Contraband in cell of inmate. During a routine sweep of the cell, inmate. Scrap of paper was discovered, so Celia's cell then. The paper exhibits unusual markings on a crude, minimalist sketch of some sort of bird. It appears to be some sort of code, but analysis is yet to reveal anything conclusive, because I'm a genius, 
all these science guys just clearly aren't. They can't solve things like I can. After scanning, the paper was returned to the inmate's cell. Resolution, increase monitoring of inmate sketches, drawings and writings. Review all materials previously created or created henceforth by inmate for similar markings and cross-reference with the attached paper as appropriate. Maybe I'll have to do cross-referencing then with things that I've previously learnt. No behavioural or situational modifications are recommended at this time. Okay. Oh boy. Well, I've got that to figure out. Lucky me. Um, I think I'll keep this page open and open up another dupe file. And the second number works. And I've unlocked Paper Trail on the profile. Okay, so... Was this not at... Maybe this will come in later. Okay, I'll, I'll keep this uh, page open then. Because that is going to come up at some point. It wouldn't just give me that for no reason. So, this file, Bioterrorist Markings. Bird-shaped graffiti markings have been reported via the Dupe Hotline in the downtown, Rainier, and Denny Park districts of Seattle. This recent rash of graffiti should be given the full weight of this department's consideration. Vandalism may be a lesser offence, or it could signal another dangerous bioterrorist like Delson Rowe operating in the city. Operatives are ordered to open an investigation into these symbols to determine their meaning, if any, and who the culprits behind them might be. Well, I'm thinking it's Celia, and seeing as that's a dove shape, oh, you know what? Not only is it a dove shape, it's a dove shape with one section white, whilst the rest of the sections are sort of see-through. So if I go to this, yeah, I think, uh, this is how I'm going to solve whatever the hell this puzzle is. By cross-referencing this sheet of paper and how the numbers go. Yeah, hmm, maybe I'll hold off the explanation until I'm actually doing it, because doing will be better than my mumbling, stuttering explanation. Yeah, okay, back onto the PS4 I shall go. Okay, find and, more importantly, photograph Celia's clues. So that's going to make it a hell of a lot easier when it comes to cross-referencing the clues to examining that sheet of paper with the solution on how to solve the clues and get the numbers that I need. Okay, so whereabouts... Ah, up here. Oh, is that it? Yes. Well, it's exceptionally tiny on the... Oh, God! And immediately, this thing decided to pop into existence. I'm pretty sure I, won't, I wasn't just stood in front of a bunch of bad guys and didn't notice. No, 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 they popped in as soon as I took the photograph. Goddamn cheaters. Well, I guess I've got that to look forward to as I play through this mission. Yeah, so very, very tiny on the screen can barely actually make out the symbol that Celia has left behind, but on the computer screen hopefully it'll be zoomed in a hell of a lot. Okay, where's the... Okay, just here, and hopefully these guys won't be in the way of the picture as well. Okay, I decided to move away a little bit just in case some guys had popped in like before, but no, I seem to be safe for the moment. Let's see if that will remain true for this one. Okay, just need to actually find the clue. Come ah, somewhere. Oh, up on this sign. Okay, I'm, I'm apparently zoomed on it, in on it, but I can't actually... Oh yeah, I can see now. Just there. Just above the uh, white aiming symbol. 
Yeah, and I reckon uh, when it comes actually solving all this, I think I'll do like a big collage on paint showing the solution. Because I don't think I'm picking up anything else apart from these photographs. Okay, is it on top of the bridge or beneath it? What do you think? Oh, in the water. Is that water there? Oh yeah, just a little bit of water. Very, very shallow. So yeah, as you can see, this part of the dove has been whitened out. So that will be part of the numbers. I don't know how I'm going to sort out what order they're all supposed to be in. Yeah, I really don't know how I'm going to sort that out. Because it's all well and good having the doves with different areas shaded in to show me what numbers I need to put where, but if I don't know the order they go in, it's going to be useless for me. Okay, where am I aiming here? Ah, just there. Well, hopefully... Obviously sending a message. Yes, she is. Uh, hopefully there's little numbers next to the pictures I've been taking. I don't think there were. But uh, yeah, hopefully either that or Celia will just pop in and leave a note or something. Further help me to solve it. Nope, it's back onto the computer I go. Alright, guess I'll figure out what order they're supposed to be in. Okay, so we went on a dove tag tour. Got a bunch of photos, and I guess once we put all the numbers together, we'll be entering them into Delson's phone and tracking down the new number. Okay, let's take a look at the doves. 